everybody's topwater Johnny, and in this bass fishing video, I'll be topwater bass fishing heavy grass with the Z-Man Frog Z. Let's go. Whoa! There we go. Yeah! Woo! Holy cow, folks! Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. That right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Hey everybody, it's Tywater Johnny, and we are back at the scene of the crime where I missed all those blow-ups. And I'm coming back this time with a Z-Man Frog Z here, a little bit flatter. Nice big hook on there, top water, towed, and our goal is to run across that grass and see if we can get those bass to come through there and hit this little Z-Man Frog Z right here. So let's go ahead, get started now and see what happens. All right. There we go. There we go. Got you that time. In the grass. In the grass. In the grass. There we go. Woo! Got him that time, everybody. All right. There he is right there. On that Z, man. Frog Z. In that heavy grass. Got him. All right. There he is, one more time. All right. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. Well, we did it. We missed that first one, that first strike, but we got him on the next one right here. A little bit more patience, a little bit more timing, and that Z-Man, Frog Z, just got it done here, so I am very pleased with that. A little redemption today, everybody. In this video, a little redemption. We'll keep on going. All right. All right, there he is. Nice one on that frogs, frog Z. All right. There we go. There we go. Woo! There we go. There we go. That's a nice one right there. Woo! There we go. Another one. All up in that grass, as you can see, everybody. All up in that grass. That one. As you can see, he took that one good right there. All right. All right, there he is again. Closer look on that, man, on that Frog Z right there. All right. Here we go, everybody, here we go. Another one on that Frog Z right here, man. That is great, and you saw that one. Exploded on it, exploded on that one. And I just held on, locked him down, then had the hook set. He was he was already in. So that was great. All right. There he is. Nice one. Nice chunky one right here. Big aggressive, nice aggressive, big bass. All right then. There 
we go. God, missed that one. Oh. <sighs> missed that one. That one was so close to the edge. But I didn't even see it was there. Wow. Keep going. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got that one. I got you that time. Got you that time. And that stuff. There we go. There we go. All right. Woo. Got you that time. All right. There he is. Missed him the first time. Missed him that, that moment ago, but I got him. All right. There he is right there. That's a nicer one. Nice one there. All right. All right, everybody. Here we go. This is the one that I just missed. Came at him from a different angle. Instead of fishing at him from the left, came back at the right and got him. And this is a nice, nice chunky bass right here. Nice chunky bass. No complaints on this one right here at all. All right. All right. That's a nice one right there. Nice one. This is well over a pound and a half right here. Big, strong bass. No complaints. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Topwater Johnny here. I hope you enjoyed that video there of me fishing with that Z-Man Frog Z. I, what I want to do now is really kind of just give you a debriefing on that particular lure, give you some of my, my thoughts and ideas about it, and kind of close out the video here. And the first thing is that when... I got to fishing in that spot. I realized that there was a lot of grass up close on the bank and those bass were hiding under it. So there was a little bit of water above and there was a lot of grass and they were under the grass, but they were coming up busting. And so I knew I had to have some kind of lure that could skate across the top, but yet they could hear it, hear the sound of it and want a key on it. And so that's why I ended up using the z-man frog z these legs really do kick they make a lot of noise on the water here for those that would like to know this is the packet right here it actually comes in four and it generally runs around seven to ten dollars for a packet of these right here but these are super durable right here these are z-man so you know what that means look at that right there that is super stretch these really do give you your money's worth right here and I want to also show you something here, what I was fishing with, but kind of like my little setup here. I want to show you guys this because this is important when you're doing top water. Sometimes people don't think about it, but I don't tie on directly to the actual hooks. As you can see right here, I've actually got a little screw tie right here. So I've got a screw in the front of it that screws into the actual lure itself right there. Then I hook into the actual bait like that, and that gives us a lot of action on the water. But also I have a leader, as you can see, on there as well. And the reason I do is because when those bass come up and they sometimes snap really hard, they can snap your line. And the line that I'm actually fishing with here is 8-pound braid. And I have seen bass snap 8-pound braid. So I try to give myself a little bit of cushion here with some metal so that when they snap down on it, they're still grabbing hold to metal and not totally penetrating the braid. Even though I think they can, I think I can hold them, but I've seen them break it before. So this gives me a little bit more added confidence in fishing this setup here. Also, I'm fishing this setup on a seven foot rod with spinning tackle. And so it's a light, really, really it's a medium light. You know, it's really just a medium rod, seven foot medium because there's a lot of bend in it, and eight pound braid. So it's really a light setup for doing this. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of the equipment and how I'm actually fishing this lure. As you can see, it even has a slit in the bottom. So that, that hook really does sit right in there nice and snug. So that makes this a really great lure when you're fishing in that heavy grass and just across the top. Also, Probably in the next couple of weeks here, I'm going to be bringing this lure back out again. I showed it to you as a review. But I'm going to be bringing this one back. I'm fishing it right now pretty much the same way 
I was fishing this one right here, but I'm having different results with it because of the style of it. So it's taking me a little bit of time to kind of get used to its unique style. And it's a thicker rubber here. So it's a little bit thicker here, but this one probably in a couple of weeks, I'll have a video for you guys on this one, putting it through its paces so that you can see it in action as well. Now, besides this video here, we got another video coming up later in the week, and that's when I normally do my lure review. You guys are going to love this lure review, but check this out. I actually bought these two lures at Dick's Sporting Goods, and they are made by Berkeley. And they are called the Berkeley Bucktooth Beaver 60 and the Berkeley Chopo 120. That's right. These are actually beaver style baits right here this is actually a wake bait looks a lot like a rat to me but it's actually a beaver style right here so i'm going to be doing a lure review of this one and i'm going to be doing a review of the chapo 120 doing a review of this one as well and these are two lures that are pretty interesting and during my review i'm going to actually talk about them but you're actually going to see me have i got footage of me actually testing these lures out and I'll give you all my insights and thoughts about it in that video as well. But that's what's coming up at the coming up on Thursday's video of this week here. So be sure to tune in, tune in for that one because I'm not sure if you've seen that lure, but it's out and it's pretty unique in itself. All right. Finally, as always, just want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching the channel here. Please leave a comment below. Tell me, have you ever used Z-Man's? Frog Z's before? Would you use them? What's your thoughts about them? I'm always looking for your feedback and your thoughts on it. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being a subscriber to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the, the bell notification. Hit the like button because I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I just want to thank you, like I said again. Once again, thank you so much. And I want you to always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.